days, and then I'll... Cool. You built everything else. So, we are getting ready to go. So, Josh, I need magic. I need your help. I can't do this alone. Oh, you need to start recording. Good evening, everyone, and welcome. This is Twist Gaming, where you get to play board games with us. We're coming to you live from our studio here, doing a second... Uh, Fight, second hunt yeah. from tonight's Twitch Plays Kingdom Death. Uh, first off, though, who are we? I'm Matt. And I'm Josh. We're Twist Gaming. Yay! Uh, so this is another episode of uh, Twitch Plays Kingdom Death. We just fought the Butcher, level 2. We beat the crap out of it. We went back. We innovated some stuff, did some things, and now we're going to go fight a level 3 Sunstalker. You asked for it. You got it. So without any further ado, Josh, I need that magic. Okay, that's a little too much, but okay. A little too much magic. Uh, What's Twitch's armor now? Uh, Twitch is now going to have two What's armor, the armor set bonus three though? armor. Add two armor, so four besides the head and the what? Uh, waist. Head and the waist. Head and the waist have five. Everything else has four. And I've got a whopping two armor at each hit location. Thanks, Josh. You're really nice to me. Just don't get hit. <laughs> okay. This is after I decided to not take evasion because why would I? Um. Okay, so first up, I'm going to go first. Josh, you're going to go second and third, and chat, you're going to go fourth. So first up is a random hunt event. Uh, I'm actually going to start this off with uh, Josh's second character. Okay. So Josh, your second character is going to go first. Okay. Um, so quick. chat, we're going to need a random hunt event. So go ahead and roly poly -oly. We forgot to do the worm, but that's okay. Um, what is Lone Salt's insanity? I, I gave you the sheet, that. yeah. All right. So now, what did we roll? Is it something good, something bad? I don't know. 59. Josh, what's a 59? 10 less than your favorite number. That's what that yeah, you is. You guys are alone, Salt. I'm updating the overlay now, guys. Uh, so 59 is... I don't know. Uh, can you change the uh, thing to... Yes. Signs of battle. Battle. So what is Signs of Battle? Signs of Battle is... Uh, the survivors come upon the remains of a... No. We can do plus one, we, right? We could. What we don't... We don't why? It clears those out, right? Oh, yeah, it does. Sun Stalker ones are kind of shitty. That's right, they yeah, are. They do a random hunt of it. Okay, so Wildfire. Been saying Wildfire. Uh, so we're going to do Wildfire because you've got other otherworldly luck. A massive wall of flame obstructs the survivors, incinerating the ground. It has destroyed whatever awaited the survivors left in the chaos in its wake. Archive all hunt events in the next two spaces. Place two basic hunt events in those spaces there. Apparently, did not spell the butcher's name right. No one noticed till now. It's the Buckther. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. We really And thank you, Astroshi. On to another round of Culling A team members. Oh, God. All right, so we're going to progress forward, and and this is going to go to Twitch. So, Twitch, you guys are going to roll. Who has the Mask Salesman Hunt event, by the way? Um, that's my right character. Why? Because we can do that at some point. Um, I didn't have an empty gear grid. I'd rather do it on the... Gotcha. So, chat, please pull a random Hunt event here. I missed the last few streams. Are all the OP survivors brought over from the other settlement dead yet? No! Uh, two of them are still alive. Or three. Is Lone Salt from the original three. one? I don't know. I'm the only one that's dead. Yeah. 72. Josh, what's a 72? 72 is something to pass the time. Do we have a symposium? Yes, we do. Oh, okay. Uh, the event revealer suggests a word game to lighten the mood as the survivors trudge forward. If the event, re uh, the event revealer rolls a d10. Do we have Song of the Brave? Yep. Uh, so we're going to add four to our roll result. That was interesting. Uh, so D10, let's see what we get here. And the verdict is a three. So three plus four is seven. So no one else is in the mood for a game. The event revealer, that is Twitch, loses one courage. They do have other other worldly luck. Oh, they do? Yep. Oh, okay. Um, the survivors play the simple but entertaining game. Each survivor gains one courage. So everyone gains a courage. You gain a courage. I gain a courage. Thanks, guys. Okay, so just like that, we're going to go... And it is my turn. So, chat, please roll a random hunt event for me. Little old me. I do not have other otherworldly luck, so whatever you roll, we have to use. Do you like my little... I enjoy it. I have a good time doing it. Uh, so they rolled a 36. Josh, what's a 36? 
It is on the trail. The survivors rush forward, feeling their quarry close at hand. Skip the next hunt space. If the, mo if the movement begins the showdown, the survivors ambush the quarry. If any survivor has noisy gear, the survivors do not ambush. So, we just skip the next random hunt phase. So that goes out of the way. So we're going to go there. We go onto this space. That goes away. So then it is Josh's turn. So you're going to get a random hunt event, Josh. So please roll a random hunt event for Josh's uh, first character. Sound effects are life. I'm glad you guys like them. You should you should be able to hire someone to give your life sound effects 24-7. That would be... If you had enough money, I'm sure you could. 64. Josh, what's a 64? A number. 64 is the stone fountain. Two cup stone hands rise out of the ground. The hand, uh, You could also change this to statue if you want, Josh. Not statue. Okay. Uh, the hands hold clear cold water that trickles through the stone fingers in a seemingly endless supply. Any survivors may consume from the fountain. If they do, gain a courage and roll a d10. Um, I'm going to do it just so I can gain my courage. Okay. Everyone else, I'm assuming, is not doing it. I rolled a 3. So that is, um, you spit out the foul-smelling liquid, gaining level of uh, monster-level brain damage. So I'm going to suffer three brain damage. So I now have zero insanity, BFD. And then I'm going to gain one courage. So I am now two away from seeing the truth. And then we're going to go, ba -do, ba -do, ba -do, and it is time for us to. Go for Overwhelming Darkness! So chat, roll a d10 for Overwhelming Darkness! Josh, roll a d10 for Overwhelming Darkness! Overwhelming Darkness! Where the hell is it? Overwhelming Darkness. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. So, what did you roll, Josh? Uh, eight and a four. I rolled a one. So you find a half-dead survivor covered in translucent moths. Ignore them, losing one courage, or spend all your survival to save them, getting one population. I'm going to lose courage. Okay. Uh, then what else? You rolled a four. That is a massive whale swims overhead. You gain a minus one evasion token, and all other survivals gain a plus one survival. Okay. Uh, you Then you rolled an eight. An eight is uh, you cut a path through the darkness, suffer one event damage to your arms, and chat either rolled a nine or a ten. I would suggest them doing a 9, because I'm assuming they don't want to lose any of their fighting arts. Probably not. So they're going to take 1 damage to their arms as well. So, 1 arm damage? Yeah. So I lose my courage that I just got from drinking the water. It sucks, because like, I have altered destiny. I want the negative status tokens. Uh, so we move past, and then Josh, this is your second character here. This is red. Oh no, green. So they took Merjurb. So this is black to blue. You notice your clothes have changed color. Roll a d10, Josh. That's a one. The discussion dissolves into a heated argument before they realize that the survivors have broken out into a fight. Each survivor suffers one event damage. So, chat, please roll a d10. Uh, d10. A hit location die and see where you're taking one whole damage. I'm taking a damage to my head. Because why not? Thanks, Josh. I don't know why you couldn't just say, like, you're the colorblind guy. I don't know what color it is. No, you have to start an argument. Uh, they took a damage to the body. And then we're going to go... Burr, 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 burr. And first up, then we're going to do mineral gathering. Yay, minerals. They're minerals, Marie. So mineral gathering. Josh, you're going to roll a d10. I rolled a three. And what do you add to that? Nothing? That, that's it. That's both my plus one. Cool, you gain one insanity in the hemophobia disorder. I already have it. You already have hemophobia? Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. So that's that. Then we're going to do herb gathering. So if I remember correctly, we're going to roll four d10s. We're going to add ten to it because we're after overwhelming darkness. We're all going to gain a survival as well. So should be close to max if you're not already. And you get plus two survival on arrival. Yeah. With my first aid kit. So we're going to roll 4d10s, herb gathering, peaches and herb gathering. And roll. roll. Rolly poly oly, guys. It's a good TV show back in the day there. Uh, they rolled two fours. Rump, rump. So another five. Four. I think we go to five now. I don't know. We'll find out. I feel like it's four still, but whatever. I think if we screw up one, it goes to five. Maybe. Yeah, because worst case scenario on the last one, we'll just roll 1d10, I guess. 
Two Here's, eights. Oh, damn it. I thought we had it there. So it's five again? Yep. Okay. Oh. oh, I didn't add any of their all their stats are just natural stats. Oh, look, no duplicates there. Nice. Uh, so that's 7, 14, 19, 21. So 21 plus 10 is 31. Okay. So if we want to get one more higher, because we have one more roll left, right? We need to get 12. So do four. Four or three? Average is five. Three technically would be okay. I think three. All right, do three. We're not getting the 75 plus. No, there's no chance in hell. I rolled 10 dice and got one through 10. That would be cool. You never know. I would have rolled 11 dice, Matt. That would be dumb. 696. Six. Doesn't matter anyways. All right. So we're going to get one fresh account and all survivors survivors gain one survival. Okay. Did I get anything for the mining? Or I no, you did not. You were just a butthole. That's all. Uh, so then we're going to get a random hunt event. So chat, go ahead and roll a random hunt event for us there. And this is chat's turn, right? This is chat, yes. So they do have other other roll through the Other, other. The other, other white meat. Baby, it's what's for dinner. I feel like I'm on an Austin Powers kick today. 38, Josh, what's a 38? Any number. Eventually, it's the Gregalope. A massive Gregalope stands astride the horizon. It's an ancient body, it's ancient body bloated with tumors and scar tissue. Its milky eyes catch sight of the survivors and it bounds away. Driven by a sudden desire, the survivors give chase. The event revealer rolls a D10 and adds their movement to the roll. Just curious. It's what? not their movement, guy. No. I don't want to get ambushed. It wouldn't, but... Uh, so they're adding 5 plus 5 to plus the result, one. plus 1. So it's 11. And 11. The Gregalope is far too fast. It's gone before you know it. Bench. No one... It have been Scatman. Yeah. Scatman could have got it. Maybe. Wait. If any survivor has strat... No, no one has strategist. Yeah. Okay. So Gregalope was just too fast for us. You know what they were also too fast for? The camera. So we're going to go... Man, it's the king of the universe. Yes, it is. <laughs> uh, so this is mine now. So we're going to roll a, another random hunt event. So you know what to do, chat. You know what to do. Bad boys, bad boys. What you going to do? What you going to do when they come for you? Bad boys, bad boys. And they rolled a 57. Josh, what's a 57. No, one more than Gorm's laughter. The rhythmic wail of a Gorm's laughter reaches the survivors, filling them with fear. The cackling follows the survivors, tormenting them until they reach their quarry. Place a, to place a token on every hunt board space between the survivors and their quarry. When the survivors move into the space with the token, remove it, and all non-deaf survivors suffer one brain damage. So we're going to get, get one, one brain, brain damage. damage. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. And then finally, Josh, this is your first character, and we get the Salted Dream. Uh, the event revealer happens upon an entire an entity busily sculpting with white ash. It pauses opening its maw uh, to flash its light. Do you want to wake up or continue the dream? I wish this one could have been mine. Continue the dream. Roll the three. The entity notices and attacks you. If you have less than five courage... Don't. That's it. <laughs> I always imagine saying... <laughs> I kind of am. It's more like a burp -a derp -a derp but it's funnier if you think it's like herp -a derp herp -a derp <laughs> Like a derpily moving survivors. The survivors moved derpily. So, Josh, you're going to set us up on that far edge over there. Do it. Do it, Joshua. Do it. Do it. Yes, yes, do it. So, one, two, three, four... I like chicken. I like liver. Meow mix. Meow mix. Please deliver. Okay. So. Don't touch my acanthus. You dare touch my acanthus. I will end you. 
So, Matt, what cards do we start and play with? I don't know. Uh, we start with Solar Energy, the Sundial, Light and Shadow, Shade, Shadows of Darkness, Living Shadows, and Monochrome. The Sunstalker is going to have 16 movement, 16 toughness, plus 2 speed, plus 2 damage, plus 1 accuracy, and plus 1 luck. He's a toughie, all right. So we all start with Black Blood. Uh, no, let's show where's the Monochrome. Right in front of your face. So Monochrome. Show that this is a super great card here. So all colors desaturate at the start of the showdown. Perform Shadows of Darkness. All survivors gain the Black Blood Survivor status card. So Shadows of Darkness, that's going to put one shade in each of the terrain uh, spots. Yeah, 16, 16 movement. He's, he's fast. So we're going to spawn a shade. Oh, place the survivors where you want to put them. And then place the Acanthus too. So the sundial is pointing that way first. So we're going to set up. We've got. We're using all of our unpainted promo minis. So that's going to be uh, the shades for us here. So let me talk about the shades movement super duper quick. Uh, now we don't have anyone with uh, unconscious fighter. So Matt, we do have someone that has the the fighting art that results from it though, right? Yes. So the Black Blood Survivor status card. So we're all going to get that. We can't spend... We can't remove bleeding tokens. This man is turn shade every day. He is. He's a shady motherfucker. Yeah. So that's super duper. Then what else do we have? And then all the normal traits. Yeah, but I want to talk about the shades a little bit. So shades... Uh, so they're going to have a... a they're only going to have one life. They have a movement of four. They have monster level plus three, so ten toughness. And then when they attack, it's going to be two speed, six accuracy for three damage. And then bleed one. And bleed then one's you, a really nasty thing. Yeah, and then when you kill them, they're going to give you plus one survival. So we gotta we got to stay on top of those because we can't mitigate bleed. Which is scary. Super duper scary. Scary spice, even. All right, you ready? I think so. So, let us begin. So, who is monster controller first, Josh? Uh, green's going to start. So we're going to draw an AI card. This starts with the first one up, Josh. You know that. So, Reflective Atmosphere. This legendary trait is first, Josh. Yay! Wait. Did you shuffle? No, I didn't shuffle. You didn't shuffle. Okay. Yeah. Redux. Or if I shuffled so well that I put the cards back in perfect order. Yeah. Put, put this underneath me. Do you want an Acanthus somewhere or no? Yeah, sure. Throw it under red. Okay. Throw it under green. I'm going to put it there so you can do either or. Isn't that great? Play it anyways. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. So we got Dazzling Beam. So Dazzling Beam is the furthest survivor adjacent to a survivor. That's going to be me. Yep. Thank you so much, Josh. <sighs> Okay, so it's going to have a flow now, so you can dash away from me if you want with Twitch. Who has the rawhide? You have the rawhide. I have rawhide. So you should dash. Put me in the corner. Is the corner far enough away? Yeah. Yeah. I use a survival. Uh, so then he's going to... Oh, I can't be dodged. This sucks. Plus two speed. So three speed. Chat roll 3d10s. I might die here. Right off the bat. I would hate you forever. I don't think you're going to die from this. I have, like, no armor. Uh, so I have, let's see, two natural evasion plus another one evasion, two evasion from my gear. So it's a four plus. So it's a seven plus, six plus to hit me. So two hits. Two hits. And they're going to be for five damage. Five damage each. Oh, you're not going to die. It's only going to be a severe injury. Hands. I'm going to take a severe hand injury. Have I told you lately that I hate you? That's to regain my survival. So, because I dodged one of them. Actually, I should... Oh, that's right. I can't dodge. So that was my severe injury roll there. It's rolled a six. I got hit twice, though. Both to the hands. 69. 69. So I'm going to get two bleeding tokens right off the bat, so that's going to make this really nice for me. Did I tell you how much I hate you? Okay, cool. Love you. Uh, so, Contracture, minus one permanent accuracy, gain a bleeding token. Dislocated shoulder, you cannot activate paired weapons or use block and gain a bleeding token. So you get two bleeds. Two bleeds and minus one accuracy. It's plus one accuracy for you. No, minus one permanent accuracy, oh. not a token. 
That would make sense. That would be great. This, Matt, can, Matt, can you just show the stock card off again? You cannot remove your bleeding tokens. So, yep. Can't. Can't do anything about it. All right. Wait now. a minute. What? Okay. I still have a fresh acanthus on me. I remember I got a fresh acanthus from something. We picked up one. Yes, give me that. I want that. That is mine. So I will hold on to this. Okay. In case I need it. Okay. Because you're probably going to kill me. Yeah. So now it's the end of the monster's turns. So now all the shades are going to go. So all the shades are going to move four spaces. One, two, three, four. Good. I hope it kills you. Ugh. One, two, three, four. I go after Twitch. Okay. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And we're going to need two D10s to be rolled, right, Josh? Yep. Where did I put the shade card? Yeah, it's two D10s. So roll two D10s. It's attacking Twitch. How much evasion do they have, Josh? Uh, Twitch has five natural evasion. I don't know if they have any evasion from their gear. Uh, I believe that they do not have any evasion from their gear. Okay. So it's going to be a uh, 10 to hit them. Why is Matt's character in Rawhide? Because the armor set he had is flammable, and we get burned up. Yep. So, uh, solar flare. so 6 and an 8. So uh, nothing hits them. They're fine there. So we're going to need two more D10s for red. What's your evasion on red? 5. So it's a 10 to hit you yeah. as well. It's only their accuracy is a six plus. Their accuracy is terrible. Okay. I have seven evasion. Yeah. So the nice thing that I have going for me is I do have steadfast going on. Yeah, so you can use that. Yeah. Which I forgot to that was carapace of will. Yeah. I want a nine, so no hits. So it's our turn. Okay. Uh I think Twitch wants to hit the guy in front of him. Or do you want to shoot him? What do you want? Um Twitch can't reach the uh, the monster, so I'm going to let them attack the shade, and then I can actually shoot the other shade from where I'm at. Okay. So, so let's 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 switch attack shade. So they're going to roll three d two d tens. Yes, uh, Matt, you do have the riot headband. Yes. I would like you to check. I would like you at the end of the turn to manage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's fine. Because he's nasty. Especially if we have to jump in the shade and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Five and a nine. So that's two hits. Uh, so then Chad's going to roll uh, 2d10s for the first attack, and their weapon is a 5 strength. They have um, 6 natural strength, so that's 11. The monster's only got uh, 10 toughness, so as long as they don't roll a 1 with the first die. Either 1, because they got 2 hits, right? Yeah. So as long as one of them's not a 1. That, that's dead. a horrible roll, but that's fine. So it's still dead. And they're going to gain a survival, but they're, they're at max. max. Uh, so then they can go and do something else with their turn now. They can move forward if they want. I would suggest them moving into the shade just in case. Okay. So move them into the shade there. Uh, I am 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm actually 11 spaces away from the... So I can't actually hit him. He should be here. He's four movement. Oh, okay. Yeah, four movement. You could dash in. No, because they can't reach Twitch. There's no reason for me to hit it yet. Okay. So I'm actually going to use my carapace of will to put a token okay. from my movement onto there. And then I am going to do my rawhide uh, headband. Can you do that? Wait, wait till the end of the turn? Okay, to that's do your fine. Turn? That's fine. That's right, fine. I'm going to attack with this. Matt, can you? I can't see my gear grid. You don't need to see your gear grid. I'd like to see my gear grid. You're mean. Uh, four plus the hit. It's one hit. One hit, one miss. So what you... Up? What's their toughness? Ten. They're, it's it's dead. dead. So gain a survival. I need it. Um, Do you want to run up and hit it with green? Do you want to surge to get that acanthus next to you? The sooner we get the acanthus, the better, because then if we start getting hit, then we can... Yeah, I'm just trying to also be nice if you hit it with red, just because then you reduce its toughness by one. Yeah. Boop boop do boop boop do. Um, where's that AI card that I just had? Did I not give it to you? Um, it's on the thing. Oh, that's right. 
Okay, so that is, yeah, that's not a move and attack. That's just a pick target. I just wanted to make sure. Um, the bait if I want to surge and dash. Mm -hmm. Do it. I don't know. The slam. Come on and slam if you want to jam. Yeah, I think you should dash. No, I want, I want green to hit this. Okay, then go for it. Just close enough. So you got to spend a survival to dash, and then you're going to attack. You're going to roll 3d10s, and what do you hit on a 2 plus? Yeah. Okay, so 2 plus. 10, 4, 2. And you're attacking. Light bending. Okay, so you're attacking this first. Uh, wow, that sucks. You should. I, we should have done the. Oh, you have the the no. We should have done the necromancer's eye first. Mm. Um, so light bending. So if you're in the light, you're going to suffer one damage to three hit locations. Then move the monster one space away from the attacker. Cancel all hits now out of range. Fuck me. Uh, I need some hit location dice. So you're taking one damage to each of those locations there. Feet, feet, head. And that's going to be the end of your turn there. And what's the next hit location that's on top? It's another crit one that's actually going to give you plus one permanent accuracy, possibly. So I don't really know if you need that. Um, that was the permanent darkness one was on there, if I critted it. Oh. So I always am in the darkness. Yeah. Which would have been really, really nice to have. Um, yeah, there's nothing else to really do. Really? Okay, so I'm going to check AI cards now. Oh, get that bubble out of there. I don't know if it's horrible. Let's compare it to the so other So the bubble, though, is when it does pop, he's going to gain a plus one speed token. When it does pop. But it's a card off to the side of life out of the way. That's true. So we could try to... What's his basic? His basic right is going to be five speed... Four plus accuracy, three plus accuracy, because he's got a plus one accuracy token for four damage plus the sundial, and then knock back twelve. So there's no there's no bleed. There's no bleed. Twitch will be the one taking it because they're in the darkness. Okay. Which isn't a bad thing. Okay. Um, otherwise, this is for the survivor in darkness, and, and it gives five bleed. Speed. Accuracy's kind of poop. The accuracy's the same. Let's let's Dam damage is a little bit more on that one, but this does give a bleed. Yeah, I'd rather not deal with bleeds. So put right. the Verton bubble on top. All right. And they could dodge multiple times, can't they? Yeah. Okay. <coughs> like so, I mean myself. So if they do dodge this, they won't get the bleeds and stuff. So like they can take either one. Yeah. It's do you want to put the mood and play and try to? He's probably you gonna know, solo and, flare at least once. Yeah, I don't want them. I don't want the speed to happen. So put the tentacle whip on top. This is going to bring him closer to a solar flare, though. Because it's going to go on the track. This won't go on the track. Right, but then he'll get plus one speed when it does go off with that one. Okay. So, put tentacle up? Yeah, tentacle up on top. Okay. Okay, so it's going to be the end of our turn. It's now the monster's turn. So the monster draws an AI card. It's going to be green as the monster controller. She's going to do tentacle whip. It's actually going to be... Green. Twitch. Uh, it yeah, green. It's, it's Twitch. So, for the survivor in darkness, so it's going to move and attack them. Uh, so, it's going to be five speed... And they actually get insanity because, you know, they need more insanity. Uh, five speed for three plus accuracy. They've got how much evasion, Josh? Five, five natural evasion plus two from their gear, so it's a ten to hit them. They don't have any from their gear. Oh, it's zero from their gear. So it's, it's an eight plus to hit them. Right? Yeah. So go ahead and roll, people. People roll. Roll it, pull it, roll it. No one's rolling. Why no one's rolling? rolling. Everyone's quiet. What happened? Everyone left us. What happened? No. There's a roll. Seven, two, four, one, five. Those are all misses. Yep. All right, cool. Those are all misses. So that goes away. The Sunstalker does nothing. Uh, and then now all of the minis are going to move four spaces closer. One, two, three, four. The zombie horde. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Three, four. Okay. okay. So it's our turn now. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and shoot that one mini from where I'm at. 
Actually, how close am I to the Sunstalker? You could shoot him. Uh, your line of sight, though. Yeah. You can get the mini. I don't think you can get him. I think that calms in the way. Okay. So I'm going to spend my movement to give myself another token, another steadfast token. Are you attacking or no? Yes, I'm going to surge to attack. I'm going to dash to attack. Okay. So I now have two, and that's all that matters, as long as I have two. Yep. Uh, so I've got two tokens. I'm going to spend a survival to dash to attack. I do spend my survival. doesn't really matter, though, because if I kill that mini, then... So I'm attacking the 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 uh, the shade that's by Twitch. So I'm going to roll my d10. And that's a nine. That's a hit. And then it's an eight. That's a, that's a wound. So kill him. I get my survival back. And then that's going to be the end of my turn. Uh, so now, who's going to attack what? That's not a... Who wants to attack him there? The reflex is kind of bad. Because of the base action. But you can but crit Twitch, him. Twitch is... But you can crit him. I can crit him. I just hope he doesn't do his stupid thing again. Well, Twitch can check the four hit locations as well okay. with their... So. Let's have them use their action to do the... Um, I can't think of the name of the damn thing. The Necromancer's Eye. Thank you, self. There's no light bending in there. So that's good. So there's three crits. Put the three crits on top now, unless they're bad crits. This is the wound one I'm worried about if I don't crit. Mm-hmm. Well, then just make sure you crit it. Right? I can do it last. Whatever you want to do. Yeah, do it last. And then you might even miss one of your attacks, too. Yeah, and then I could use that card, too. I use my dagger specialization. Oh, I forgot you got dagger specialization. Yeah, so I, I can oh, do, okay. I could do silly things. I just... And you're attacking from the butt. Two plus. That didn't do anything for me. That should be a clip. Eight, five, five. That's three hits. Two, three. So you're attacking the fertility clasper. So you strike a strangely shaped appendage. Don't forget that the suppressed shadow guy ignores first strike. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, red does. Um, thank you. I forgot about that. So. I typically five plus, but it's going to be a six plus because he has plus one luck. Correct. So it's only 50% for you. That's not a crit. It is a wound, though. I'm pretty sure that's a wound. Yeah, because how much strength do you have? Yeah, 12 natural with my weapon. Plus another 9, 10, 11 that you rolled. So yeah, that's yeah. enough. So that's a wound. Please reduce the monster's life total by one. That was the first wound we did. So that's the mood card. Okay. Next up. Next. You're attacking the Sun Shark Molar. That's I don't know On what that edge. was. That's a one. one that's a failure. Two. That sucks. So you can do a basic. Uh, so it's doing a basic action to you. So it's going to roll five d10s. And now twitches in the butt. It's true. So five d tens. This is this is hard. But I have seven, eight, nine evasion. Do you have nine evasion? And I have blocked you up right now. Oh, because you have your blood paint. Yep. So it's literally a ten to hit you. You need to roll three tens to do any damage to me. That's ridiculous. Oh man, rolls are slow. Yeah. Come on, guys. You know you want to. One left. Like, oh, level three sun sucker, we're going to leave now. That, now that we made you do it. Yeah. Uh, those are all definitely misses there. So nothing happens. So That's he so goes good. away. Did you want to use your dagger specialization to get rid of this one? Because you were, like, upset at that one? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. So you're attacking the sun shark molar again. Hopefully I crept this time. Because he had blocked two up, and he needed a tent to hit him, so he would need three hits to actually go through. That's a crit. That's a crit. Bam. Gain one huge sun teeth sun stalker resource. You see a light deep within the monster's mouth. Roll a d10. If the result is less than or equal to your courage... So don't roll a 10. Six. You gain plus one permanent accuracy. Yay, seven accuracy. Okay, so that goes away. Please reduce the monster's life total by one. And the next hit location card is the death blow card there. Uh, Twitch can hit that because they're not—they are in the darkness for it. 
Okay, so chat, please roll two d10s. Uh, you have how much right now? So your weapon's a six plus. You've got one natural accuracy, so it's a five plus, And you're in the blind spot, so it's a four plus. Right? Right. 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 Uh, ten and a five. Chair. Chair. Ten and a five. So they don't get anything for perfect hits, unfortunately. Nope. Uh, but it is two hits. So okay. they got light bending. So if you're in the light, they're not. They're not. So that's fine. They could still hit it, and they have reach anyways. Yeah, they reach if anyways, they were. So, they're okay. so you're gonna roll two d tens. This is going to uh, the two d tens is going to first one's gonna be your wound attempt, and the second one is your sharp attempt. And they have seven natural strength. The weapon has four. They have seven natural strength. So that's eleven. That's a they really ten and an eight, Jesus. So they they wound the monster. Please reduce the monster's life total by one, and then they are attacking the brilliant mouth. Uh, if you are attacking from the light, suffer minus five strength. But you're not. So two d tens. The monster has a total of sixteen toughness. You have seven natural strength. Your weapon has four, so that's an eleven. So you need to roll a five combined on the two die. It's pretty good. Pretty pretty good. Do they, they don't have any soluble gear, do they? Eight and a one, so uh, they do not have any soluble gear. All right, so they can actually hit this next location without issue. Okay, so that card goes away, the and damage. they did. Please do some monsters' life total by one. Now they already went twice though, because they they did the necromancer's eye. So do you have any soluble gear? I have a monster grease. Um, we can. Do you have any soluble gear with red? Green, I don't. No, I do. My blood paint's soluble. Yeah. Um, so you could actually... We could take out some of the shades. Do it that way. And I'm going to use my a my uh, action... I'm going to surge to check the AI cards. Still dead. All right. So I killed that guy. Okay. And you get plus one. Uh, I'm already at max. Okay. And I checked the top two AI cards. Another bubble. Oh, oh Jesus. So we're going to have the bubble come and play. Okay. It's going to be plus one damage token. It's better <laughs> than the speed. Yeah, it is because we're evading, we're evading everything like crazy. The other one's a legendary card. We want to get rid of that. Yeah. Um, so he won't do his solar flare yet, which is nice too. That is nice. Okay. Two, three, four. Note that this shade is going to attack you, and this shade's going to attack you. I'm just letting you know. No shits. Okay. So that is going to be the end. Four or five movement. Four. That one's going to attack you. This one's not. So that is going to be the end of our turn. It's now the monster's turn. Monster control is going to pass to little old me. And let's draw that next AI card, please. So we've got, as we said, the Vermilion Bubble. And the Vermilion Bubble is when this comes into play, perform a basic action. So he's going to attack green because you're right in front of him, right? It's the furthest threat in darkness, which is Twitch. Oh, look at that. Furthest threat in darkness. So it's attacking Twitch, so 5d10s. Uh, it's going to hit them on an 8+, plus, and uh, this goes into play. So it hits them on an 8+, plus, but they also have extra sense and hypersensitive. So they get two dodges. So it's an 8+, plus, it's a 30% chance for each die roll to hit them, but they also could dodge three of them. Yeah, so... Yeah. So they're they're pretty good. I'm not worried too much about them. Nah, I'm not worried about them either. Roly poly oly guys. Let's get the rolling started. Uh okay, Two so hits. Yep, nine and a ten. So they're gonna dodge both of them, because they can. Yeah. So uh they have to dodge one of them. So their survival, yeah, survival goes down by two. They do have thrill seeker though, so if they kill a shade, they will gain two survival. Yep. And that's going to be the end of the monster's turn. Now the shades are going to go. So they're going to go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. This one's going to attack Josh. 2d10s. It's only going to hit you on a 10. Let's see what you get. You think it's going to hit you? Mm. Yeah. Two 10s. Doesn't matter, though. Don't you still have block up? Yeah, I haven't got hit yet. So, so literally it can't damage you. Okay. So that's fine. That's the end of the monster's turn. It is now our turn. Okay. Like Twitch to go first. Why? Because they don't have any soluble gear. Okay. So chat, you know the drill. You're gonna roll two d tens. 
in the meantime, do you want to deal with the shade or not really? You don't really care about them. I'm going to kind of watch what the hit location deck's doing and, and see what we, how we want to handle it. Yeah. So hopefully uh, we get... I, honestly, I wouldn't, wouldn't be upset if it was just one hit. Ten and a three, that is actually just one hit. Cool. It's impervious. So they can't do any can't damage, do but then nothing happens. Nothing happens. So that's good. Yeah. Uh, and since they are in the darkness, the other stuff doesn't happen. Yeah. Right. So that was perfect. So do we want to have them check the hit locations now? Because the trap card is pretty nasty. It is pretty nasty. Yeah, it wouldn't be bad. So the, I would say they use their sweet battle to attack right now, and then spend their activation now. Yeah, that works. Yep, the trap was... Oh, dead. also, they have plus one strength because of Quixotic. I think I updated the overload. You did, you did. It's seven strength. Uh, trap card is there. Second card down, too. So that was good. So you could put the Engulf and Light nonsense on the top. And then Trash Crown it. So, like, we could attack, at least do one damage, and then Trash Crown it. It's not a great card to hit. Why is that? It's... The wound is nasty. Is it? Survivors within three spaces of him suffer Bash. And two damage and are knocked back 12 if I wound it. Unless you crit it. Unless I crit it. Yeah. I'd rather just do Trash Crown now. Well, Twitch also can run now. They could. And get out of the way, so that way you'd be the only one affected by it. Guess. I, you know, I... I... Let me look at this real quick. Trap card's bad. It's bad, okay? Survivors in the Vomit Swim suffer five damage. Yeah. To three hit locations. That sucks. But we clear the uh, solar track. That's the only thing I was looking at. But you want to take five damage to three hit locations? No. Yeah, no, exactly. I can't, I can't take five damage to no. three hit locations. All right, so we'll do this. Twitch roll. You going to have him run away? Run over th there. Okay. So you're going to attack now. I'm going to attack. Roll your 3d10s. You hit on basically a 2+. plus, Three hits. Now, those other ones, those light speeds do nothing, right? Rotate the sun cl sundial clockwise until the attacker is in light. So it's going to rotate it twice. Yeah. And then nothing happens. So it turns 180. Yep. So now you're attacking the prismatic gills. And you're going to go ahead and roly-poly here. Ooh, not that's crit. not a crit. That sucks. It is a wound, though. So reduce the monster's life total by one. That's a legendary card. All survivors within... So that's you. Uh, suffer bash. You're going to take two damage and knock back 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And you're knocked down. But you'll get up again. Never going to keep you down. But you also are going to be by the salt, so you can collect some salt. Right? All right, so that's that. So, trash crown it. I still haven't gone at all yet. Do I want to... Get away? You want to fly away? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do I want to attack some of the stuff here, or just trash crown it? Um, you could probably deal with those guys. I'm going to trash crown right now. I know what I can do. I just trash crown. Attack one of them, I'll get my survival back. Yeah. Uh, and then I'll wind up checking the AI cards to see. Well, I actually, actually haven't attacked yet. So, depending on what the top card is, I can. Thank uh, you, Fallen Cypher. Yeah, thank you, Fallen Cypher. We really, really appreciate it. Uh, but depending on what the top card is of the hit location deck there, uh, is it something that is bad for me to attack? Use Minus five strength. Oh. If you crit it, you get the party token. I'm not going to crit. I actually can't crit. I can. That's not true. We don't have trash crown. We only have cross crown. And what's the failure? Uh, failure, we suffer brain damage. 
Oh, okay. They don't care about brain damage. I'm going to use this opportunity that... your insanity, by the way? It's zero. How'd you get to zero? It wasn't very high. Oh. It was at three before and the hunt. My six. brain box is checked. You got the six departing? No, I did not take six departing. Thank you. So, so I should be at, uh, no, three. If I was at six, I took three insanity. I took three brain damage. Oh, okay. Uh... Okay, so I am going to... No, you're right, it is five. I can't math. It is five, so I can actually shoot that from where I'm at. I kind of want to use the claw head arrow. I'm trying to think, can you... Your line of sight. No, no yeah, I'm fine with moving, because I don't okay. need... It's not cumbersome, the claw head arrow. Um, okay, so then I'm going to attack. Ooh, I don't think a two is enough. Um... End of all hope. I've got... I thought I took an accuracy before. You got minus one from the severe injury. Oh, yeah. Awesome. That's really great. So I have one accuracy, so that's not enough. I don't hit it. Okay. So... Are you going to yeah, I'm going to search to check the AI cards. So roll D10. I do regain my survival, so I keep it. Don't want stunning inspiration, shimmering inspiration, because it's drawn AI card anyways. Oh, they're both drawn AI card. If this attack deals no damage, draw an AI card. Nice. For this knockdown survivor, it's gonna try to hit me with six speed. Yeah, you're still close enough. But I still have my shield up. Like, it's not going to... Furthest knockdown survivor. But I guess I end up beginning my turn. Furthest survivor. It's still gonna yeah, and then you can dash out of the way, so it won't actually get you. Can I dash far enough? Yeah, it's only, it's 13 spaces away. It's only got 16 movement. I only have 4 movement. So if you went 1, 2, 3, 4, you'd be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. It's technically going to be too far away. One space too far away? Yeah, but then it would draw another AI card, right? Um, because it didn't do any damage? Hi, Lucy. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> you must be knocked out. Fuck, man. Use your words, Josh. Use your big boy words. For this, uh, I don't... When Let's this comes into play, card. draw an AI card... So this gives plus one to the sun tracker. Mm -hmm. That sucks. Permanent plus one. Yeah. And then it's going to do this and solar flare. Oh, God. What does solar flare do again? Um, solar flare is going to... All survivors in the light suffer five damage and are knocked down. Okay. So as long as... If we can go all get to the darkness... That's not, it's not going to do anything. It, Which is fine. We could all get to the darkness very darkness easily. easily. Yeah. So let's do that. Might as well. All right. So what are we doing? Do the shimmering nonsense first, no? Do this one f first. Doesn't matter. You're going to dash out of the way of that one. It's gonna, he's going to draw three cards. Yeah. So he's going to do something unknown. It Maybe doesn't double sun first. damage. It adds one to sun damage. It adds one to the solar track permanently. So it's going to do the viscous UV beam. So now it's going to target you, Josh, because you're knocked down. Yep. Do you want to stand up? I don't want to fucking matter. Yeah, I want to stand up. Okay. So you're going to stand up, and I'm assuming you're dashing, right? Yeah, I want to dash to the darkness somewhere. Oh, wait. No, you can't. If you dash to the darkness... Yeah, that's fine. It's still going to hit me. It's still going to hit you. One, two... I'll move you there. Okay. So now he's going to go and move and attack you. So he's going to go wee all the way over here. And look, his dick tentacles is all up in your grill. Can you move the cat, please? All right. He's in the little warm spot. <sighs> Stare at me like that, Lucy. And you're going to... I can't roll enough dice. So it's going to be five plus one. So go ahead and roll one. You hit yourself. Good job. Good job. I still have block up. Oh, you have two? Two block? Yep. So it's going to, you still need it to roll then 3d10s in order to do anything to you. Because you could dodge one, right? Yeah, I could. 
Otherwise, this is going to do... Uh, Two hits. Nice. But you block both of them, so it doesn't matter. Cool. So now, it's going to draw an AI card, because it didn't do any damage. So this goes Wait. away. Does Solar Flare happen first? Yes. Okay, so... So before that, we're going to all so dash now. We're all going to dash now in that flow. So I don't use my survival. Please move me into the shade there. Okay, so then this survival. goes away. And now he's going to solar flare. So all survivors in the light, which is no one, suffer damage. Okay. Uh, place... I can't Cards read that, please. on the solar tracker into this card pile. Okay. Place all moods in play. So he's going to get the plus one damage token now. Yeah. And then rotate the sundial 90 degrees clockwise. And then he's going to spawn new... Shades. Shades. Shoes. Is that at the end? Does it say spawn new shades? Every end. So it's going to be on the north side now. Oh. Because it's after the sundial changes. Correct. Oh, oh I thought I got that one. Ugh. See, I thought I was blocking that spot there, but it didn't help. Okay. So that is going to be the end of... Now he's going to draw an AI card. That AI card. So he's drawing another one. So then this is the Shimmering Atmosphere. So now he's going to draw an AI card. And this gives... Uh, this is a trait that stays in play. So he's going to gain plus one to the solar track. Down the trait. Cosmic Heat. So this is a trait. So uh, when this card comes into play, perform shadows... Oh, God. Um, well, the nice thing is... we won't, Yeah, we only need to spawn two more. I got two right here. Oh, okay. Free... Free survival. Lots of free survival. At the end of the survivor's turn, any survivors in the light, which is... Uh, is going to suffer... Oh, boy. Minimum four damage. Yes. Uh, when there are no shades on the showdown board, discard this card. This sucks. Time to get rid of some shades. Okay. Wow, that's awful. <laughs> now the shades are going to attack. Yeah. So one, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, yeah. So first we're going to need two D10s for this one. It's going to hit you on a 10, right, Josh? I have five evasion. I'm going to have it move this one. No, one, I two, have three, four. Of evasion. He's going to move there. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There. One, two, three, four. Cool, so they missed that one. This next two is going to be for me. So I have a total of two evasion plus two more for my gear. So four evasion, so it hits me on an eight plus. <clears throat> Good thing is we can kind of all get into spots so we're in darkness. Yeah. And just kind of camp there. That is true. And the shades aren't really going to do anything. Uh, six and two, that's two misses. Then we need four more, and this is going to be attacking green over here, so that needs to be a 10 to hit you minimum. So in the meantime, let's game plan what we want to do here. So who's going to go first? So if you and Twitch stand <clears throat> north of that column there... In a conga line. In a conga line, you'll both be in darkness. Yeah. So uh, I would recommend you kill that one there. Yeah. And then dash into that spot. One hit, Josh. One hit to me? Yeah. So you need to dodge. Yeah, I'll dodge it. That's fine. Okay. So that nothing happens there. So it's the end of that turn now. So I'm assuming you're going to start poking some of these guys with the Lance of Longinus. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to have Twitch attack the guy through me right now. Oh, they can do that. So go ahead and roll 2d10s. Um, two, that's two hits. Not a one. I failed. Two ones. That's very good, Josh. Uh, I will surge. Yeah. Yeah, you will. So they rolled a 1 and a 2. They're surging too. So Josh... Yeah, sweet battle. Yeah, that's fine. The I rolls are bad right now. I'm going to get a survival. So I'll be at 7. Though I need to use that to dash. So I'm going to go back to 6. Okay. Uh, so Josh, do you want to start attacking with green now? Roll a 10 and a 6, so that's two hits. So go ahead and roll two d10s if either one of them are one. If both of them are one, you fail. Otherwise, you're fine. So, Josh, are you attacking with green now? Yeah, I'm going to attack. Three hits. Yeah, I killed 
the one just north of me, and I'm going to move into the blind spot, the, the darkness there. Okay, so that's dead. You got your uh, survival for that? Yep. Okay. Um, so Twitch kills this one, so they're going to gain two survival, Josh, so please okay. up their survival by two. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to have a move around me and into the darkness there, okay. and then I'm going to dash over here. You haven't gone yet. I know. And then I'm going to use my movement and my activation to shoot the okay. shades. That's a hit. That's a wound. So I get my survival back. He's dead. Roll to see if you get your survival back, too. He's the raw head. I do, so I go up to max. And then you're going to surge? Uh, I don't have another movement. Surge to check AI cards. Oh, yes, I will surge to check AI cards. Sorry about that. So you're going to roll D10 to see if you use survival? Yeah, sure, why not? Nine. So I do not use my survival. That's always nice. So what are the next, next AI cards there? I like green light, which I fucking hate. So we're not dealing with that. I'd rather do shadow dance. What shadow dance? He's going to summon more shadows, and they're all going to attack. I hate you. He's going to summon three shadows. Four shadows. Yeah. But you want to do soft red light, green light? No, I do not want to do red light, green light. I forget what that is, but... Soft fill, a harsh red light fills the atmosphere. All survivors in the light. So that's damage. no one. No one. Then rotate 90 degrees. And then we all have to... That's not bad. Oh, we could all... Yeah, we could all dash and do that. It's We had issues when we we had people without dash. And people weren't already in the darkness. Yeah, exactly. Okay, yeah, we could do that. That's fine. So that's fine. So that's good. That's good. I don't want more shades. So it's the end of our turn. End of our turn. Now the monster's turn. Monster controller's passing. I forget to who. It's the me, I think. So a soft green light fills the atmosphere. Flow. A harsh red light fills the atmosphere. All survivors in the light suffer damage. No one's in the light. Oh, Rotate no. the sundial 90 degrees. So now there's a flow. We're all going to dash again into the darkness. I do use my survival. You're going to dash there. You're going to dash there. Twitch is going to dash over here. Josh, please reduce twist Twitch's survival by one. And okay. then no one takes any damage again. Yep. That's fine. And then, it, then it rotates 90 degrees again. That's fine. Okay. And that's going to go here. Okay. So now that's the end of the monster's turn. Now all the shades are going to go. Um, one, two, three, four. One, two, three. He's gonna stay there. One, two, three, four. One, broke two, it. Two. What did I break? So the piece next to the. He's fine. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so four d ten. This is gonna be for red and green because you both need ten. Okay. So first two are for green. First, second two are for red. So many dice to roll. It'll yeah, be a quick one. It's fine. It'll be super quick, Josh. Uh, seven, seven, ten, nine. So that's one hit to red. I have my shield up. So I'm fine. Okay. So I hacked. I, I used blood paint. Red. Oh, red? Yeah. Uh, I will dash. Okay. I will dodge. I'm rolling roll die. <laughs> uh, so then four more D10s. The first two are going to be for Twitch, so those will be uh, for 10. And then the next two are going to be for me, and those are for 8. Okay. And let's see what we get here. And it is a... More rolling. Lots of rolling. So we could possibly clear out all the shades this turn. Correct. We should be able to. Actually, yeah, we should be able to very easily. So the first two are for you? <sighs> no, first two are for Twitch. Nothing hits them, then it hits me twice. But here's the cool thing. So I'm going to dodge the first one, and I keep my survival, and then I'm going to use my steadfast tokens to dodge the other one. Okay. So nothing hits me. I don't want that. I don't want bleed tokens. Yeah, no. You already have two. Like. Yeah. So I'm super glad that I did the steadfast then. Okay. So it's going to be the start of our turn now. Okay. So I'm going to start us out. I'm going to spend a survival to dash. Okay. Uh, and that's what I'm going to use for my steadfast. So I'm going to take a steadfast token there. 
Uh, and then I'm going to roll and I'm going to attack that shade in front of me. The four is a hit. Nine is a wound. So I kill him. I gain a survival up to my max in survival. And that's going to be the end of my turn there. So get rid of this guy. Uh, Twitch, I'm going to have you guys go next. So you're going to attack the shade right in front of you. Uh, and then, Josh, in the meantime, you want to start attacking these guys? Yeah. Uh, Two hits. Eight and five. Two hits. So. And you kill it. So you're going to gain a survival. And you're surging. And they... Hit, hit twice so again they don't need a, they need right. not a one so i'm gonna gain one i'm not in one survival nice you killed the other one too yeah oh nice and now do green um nine and three those you're two hits. supposed to roll more dice than that yeah, it doesn't matter he's so he's dead so gain a survival with uh, that move as me well. to the darkness still uh boop 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 uh so that card goes out of play now that mood card if, did they kill both of these? Uh, I'm sorry. They killed the first one. So now they need to roll two more d10s to see if they hit the second one. And uh, As long as they kill that one, then it goes away. Yeah. As long as they kill that one, it goes away. So we'll see. And that's one hit. So two d10s as long as both of them are not ones. So Matt, you dashed in. Oh, you are right. You were right. Yes. 100% correct. So I don't have the steadfast token. Thank okay. you, Ice Chamber. I mean, screw you for <laughs> not letting me get a token, but you're right. 100%. They just needed a 1 or higher to wound, right? Yeah. Or a 2 plus? Yeah. So it's that. All right. So now that goes away. Okay. So we got rid of the shades. We don't have to worry about the sunlight anymore. It doesn't anymore. go to Soul Flare. It just gets discarded. Yeah. To the discard pile. Whew. All right. You want to surge? Um, Check AI. Yes, I will search to check AI cards. And I keep my survival. More moods, yay. I kind of don't care if he does that, uh, Shadows of Darkness right now, though, because the main issue was the... Um, so what does that one do? This one gets three bleed token when it pops. Oh, hell no. No, we're not taking that. <laughs> hell no. All right. Hell no. So, it's the end of the monster's turn. Or it's the end of our turn. It's on the monster's turn. Twitch is the monster controller. So we're gonna do shadow dance. So we're gonna spawn more minions. So they're all gonna go. So that's actually interesting. The monster doesn't do anything. Oh. He just spawns, and then the minions are gonna go. I need one more. So now the minions are all gonna go. So can you please move them closer? One, two, one, two, three, four. So we need 40 tens. First okay. two for Twitch, second two for me. And 10 hits on all of them. And then they're going to go again. Yes, you are correct. It kind of sucks, but whatever. We'll manage. We got rid of one of his legendary actions. This is the second one. So red is going to get hit once, Josh. Okay, so then we're going to roll more because they're all going to go again. And you're also uh, Twitch is going to get doubled up now. Okay, so we're going to roll forty tens. This is just for Twitch, and then the next set of forty tens will be for red and green. Yeah, in whatever order you want to do it in. I like, I'd much rather deal with that than have to deal with. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Imagine it was bleed to three bleed tokens. No, uh, all misses. So another forty tens. First two are for green. Second two are for red. Yeah, that's fine. Are you sure? Yeah. Are you sure? Are you sure? You good? I'm good. I'm golden. You know golden what I could really go for right now? Golden crow? No. No. <laughs> Chicken noodle soup. Can you ever go for golden crow? Yeah. If I'm like really hungry. Uh, so yeah, those are all misses. So it's the end of the monster's turn. It's now our turn. Let's kill some stuff. Okay. Uh, I'm assuming Twitch is going to start Rudy Tootie right. point and shooty these guys here. So I'm going to have... Do we want Twitch to use the crescent crown? Not the crescent crown. The not the uh, the crescent Pillsbury crescent rolls. The uh, necromancer eye. Probably. Okay, so Twitch you is going to do that. They're going to do that with their normal action, right? And then they have sweet battle, so they can yeah hit one of those guys. So I'm going to have them roll to do that now, anyways. 
So they're going to roll and attack the one that's on the south side of them. They can't even see what I'm talking about. That's awesome. So I'm going to have it attack the one on the south side of the, or the north side, I guess, on your guys' screen. Uh, and I'm going to attack the other one with my turn. Okay. Rolled a 10 and a 4. That's two hits. Uh, so you know, actually, it's only one hit. So you know the drill. 2d10s. As long as it's not a 1 on the first one, you're good. What are you doing, Josh? Uh, I'm going to attack. With what? Uh, with green. Okay. Oh, yeah. I've seen KFC buffets before. Ooh, 9 and a 9. So that is a wound. They are also going to gain 2 survival. Gain two survival. And uh, that's going to be the end of their turn. I'm going to attack now. I'm going to... Sp- I'm going to dash to do my steadfast token, and then I'm going to uh, attack the one in front of me with my bow. That, whatever, it was a hit either way. And then it's a wound, so he goes away. I get up to my max there, so I'm back at max survival. I'm going to move and take a step forward. No, uh, green. Oh, I'm like, why? That doesn't make sense. Two hits. Two hits. And you're attacking what, Josh? The Sun Shark Snout oh, is yeah, the first strike. Question. So go ahead and roll. Uh, do I die? Six plus crits. Okay. Not a crit, but a wound. Definitely a wound. Uh, so reduce the monster's life total by one, please. So that's and, that really bad mood. Yeah, thank God. And now you're attacking the brilliant testicle. Tentacle. <laughs> uh, you are in the light, so it's minus five strength. But it's a, a crit. crit. Gain one shadow tentacle resource. Roll a d10, Josh. Results equal to or less than your courage? It's greater than my courage, actually. I rolled a 10. Oh, really? So nothing happens. So we get some shadow tentacles. Uh, Read what that says, Matt. When you gain this during the hunt or the showdown, return it to the resource deck and draw again if any survivors are blind. I'm blind. Okay. So does that mean we get a random instead? Yeah. That's interesting. So we got some cycloid skills. Yeah. Ooh, really transparent cycloid skills. And more importantly, please do one damage to the monster, and uh, that's going to be the end of your turn there. So what are you doing with red? Did so you? There's a light bend in, so I can't attack from the darkness at the moment. But so red has really reach, happen. so if you get up close enough with red, what's your movement with red? Six? One, two, three, four, five, six. So if you dash, you can get close enough. So you can dash and slam if you wanted to. Yeah. Um, <laughs> wait. What? I want to surge and kill one of those guys first before I go. There's no need to? Okay. So yeah, I'll dash. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. So I'll move you here, and then you're going to slam him back one spot? Yeah. Okay. Cool. So go ahead and roll. Uh, what do you hit on? Four. I'm in the blind spot, so three, two, one, two plus. Two plus. And I have sharp now because I shadowed walked. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, double crit. Does that work for both of them? Because you crit on both of them. Because you have... You don't have that thing, though. I have suppress shadow. Yeah. I ignore first strike. Yes, you do. So it's the first hit. Yeah. So I'm going to do this one first. Okay. I'm going to crit it. So you get Suppressed Shadow. So since you rolled a perfect hit, you get an automatic crit, and you can ignore First Strike. So uh, that's pretty awesome. So crit, the monster vomits a a torrent of fluorescent colors on you. Gain the priority target token. All survivors ignore First Strike until the end of the attack. Okay. So reduce the monster's life total by one. And now you're going to roll for this guy here. Uh, but since you... Oh, yeah, never mind. That's roll results, so skewer doesn't work here, right? Yeah. Oh, you can't skewer anyway. You don't have the antelope armor. No. Okay. I can't slam anyway. I don't know why I would say I was slamming. Oh, so it doesn't matter. So he he actually technically didn't move when I... Okay. Okay. So you're attacking this one. Please roll. If you're in the light. You're in the light. Suffer two damage to three hit locations. Then move the monster one space away. I forgot about that. Three damage. Yeah, the, th- the three hit location. Three damage to th- three hit locations. Yes, it's three damage to three hit locations. That's pretty horrible. 
I can take that though. That's like all I can take though. So that sucks. Legs, it's a good thing you arms. got the priority target token. <laughs> My evasion's decent, so yeah. Body. Uh, so go ahead to roll to wound then. Okay. So he's gonna move one space directly away from you. Yeah. So he's gonna knock into me. Yeah. I'm gonna suffer knockback. Knockback five. That's fine. Okay. I'm gonna be knocked down. Knock down. You get knocked down. But you'll get up again. All right. So I'm gonna. We are all over the board right now. <laughs> I will two. Should be enough to wound him though. I have sharp with it. It's definitely enough to wound him. To so wound. Josh, please reduce monsters' life total by one. <sighs> Twelve. Okay. Okay. So what next? It's technically at eleven because he's a trade and play that we can't get rid of. Um. Do you want surge to check? Yeah, I'm going to surge okay. to check AI cards. I do use my survival because screw me. Dooby dooby doo. Who's in the darkness? Uh, no no one. one is in no. the darkness. No, Twitch is in darkness. Twitch is in the darkness because they're standing next to me. They're my buddy. Um, I believe they could dash, though. This is going to do solar flare, though. This is the issue. What do you mean you don't see the monster? Monster's right here. I'm confused. I am confused. I mean, do you want me to pan over to it, I guess? I could do that. What are you doing? But Twitch didn't dash yet. Yeah. So I think this is... They can dash out of the way. So then it's rotate the sundial 90 degrees, place this card face down on the solar track, then perform a basic action. Okay, so it's just going to do basic action. If Twitch dashes right now. Twitch dashes, all survivors darkness, then we're going to rotate, then we all need to run to the darkness. Because he's going to solar flare. Yes. I, Red's going to have a problem making it to the darkness. Red's... One, two, three, four, five, six. They can't make it to the darkness. That's a problem. And then green won't be able to make it to the darkness either. Yep. So what's the other card? I mean, the both is going to do solar flare, though. No, we stay where we are and then stay in the light. <laughs> <laughs> this one's gonna knock us down. But we'll get up again. Never gonna keep us down. But we both can get to. We all can get to the shadow with this one. Has everyone gone already yet? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Didn't you go only go once with red? I dashed and then attacked. You didn't. Yeah, you could still surge. I could still surge. And you could get rid of those cards, possibly. No. <laughs> no. Did green attack twice? No, but that will just... You can trash crown it with red. Well, I, actually, I can attack from the darkness. How can you attack from the darkness with red? I can stand under that salt pillar. No? Yes. The monster's technically there. No, he's not. Oh. Oh, with, with green you mean? Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. So why don't you stand up green? I'll stand up green. Stand up green. Okay. Let me see if I reuse my survival there. Consume the darkness! I don't know if that's possible. Okay. And so you're, so you're dashing want? and you're sweet battling, right? Yeah. I need you to do two damage to it. <laughs> then we're going blind. Just FYI. We're going blind! It is exciting. All right, nine, three, four. That's three hits. One. Trap card! Yeah, we did it, Josh. High five. Yeah, you told you should have trash crowned it first. You're going to get some vomit. All right, so all survivors are doomed. A tentacle grabs the attacker. You're going to stay where you are. Um, vomit's hot. Streaky kaleidoscope of brilliant colors. Uh, each row of this zone extends out. Uh, you're going to be in the vomit zone. You're going to suffer 5 damage to 
four hit locations. Three hit locations. Four hit locations. Oh, four. So five damage to four hit locations. I'm yes, sir. Die. And you gain the Black Blood Survivor status card. He's not going to Solar Flare, though. Look at the bright side. Yeah. So five damage. Correct, Mundo, sir. So three severe legs. Yeah, the, the non-painted minis are the shades. And a severe arm. So four severe injuries. It's nice. You'll be okay. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Let's see what you get there, buddy. One, two, three. Oh, you're dead. Blood geyser. Blood shoots from your femoral artery at an alarming rate, killing you in seconds. You dead. Okay. You have the butthole ring, though, right? I do. Does that everyone have to die for the butthole ring, or just... No, it says, in the aftermath, during the aftermath, if you died or ceased to exist, you may archive the archive ring and reset the campaign to the previous settlement phase before you departed. So, it doesn't matter what any of you do, I can just reset it. Okay. Um, you can remove me from that. Well, I don't need to just remove you. You become a shade. That is true. So, there you go. Rotate the sundial 90 degrees, please. We have to finish the fight, technically. <laughs> Why? I don't know. <laughs> Do you just want to end it? We don't have to. I mean, it's getting kind of late. What do you want to do, Josh? Let's see how this guy. I, I don't think this might not last much longer with me out. Oh. Because I am the damage. Sure. We'll go with that. You're just going to reset it. Do it. You're just going to reset it. Okay. Uh, not only is this fight too long for Matt, but it's also going to reset to not matter. Yeah, that's true. It's not too long for me. It's that it's the second fight. Finish the fight. Well, let's finish the fight. I'm okay with finishing okay. the fight. So, that's it. It's the monster turn now. Indeed. Um. He's going to do his fun stuff anyways. So, Presence of the Sun. <laughs> Thanks, Exelon. Uh, each survivor rolls a d10. So that's which roll you done. What it needs six. to be, if it's seven plus, they stand, otherwise they fall. I fall, hide your face. Turning away from the cosmic light, you are knocked down and suffer five brain damage. I'll take five brain damage. I'll take five brain damage, too. And uh, can you please knock me down? <laughs> no reset, just accept the TPK. <laughs> uh, so Twitch is also going to take the brain damage and they're knocked down as well. So we're all knocked down. So this goes away. Wait, this wasn't that bad. Why did we choose to not have this just get done? It was done? then the solar flare on top of oh, it. Oh, okay. And it was just the compound of everything. Yeah. Um, so they're taking five brain damage? Yeah, five brain damage. Uh, so then all the shades are going to move. So one, two, three, four, five. Four, actually. So I'm just going to move there. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. It's the beginning of our turn. We're all going to stand back up again. So let us start the fun stuff. So, Josh, you want to go attack it? Sure. <laughs> I'm going to move to its blind spot. You're going to its blind spot? Yeah. Okay. Two hits. What are you attacking? Something good? That's Death blow card. card. Okay, so you're attacking the Fertility Clasper. That is a wound. It's a wound. Not a crit. Uh, so, reduce the monster's life total by one. Which character died? That was, uh, the Turk Majerb, arguably Turk our best character. Actually, unarguably our best character. It was Turk Majerb. So now you're attacking the Brilliant Mouth, and you're suffering minus five strength to this location. Uh, to ten, so it's an automatic wound. Okay. So, you, you wound it. Please reduce the monster's life total by one. Uh, I am one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 13. So, Josh, can you move me four spaces closer, please? I'm dashing to get over there. I do use my... Boop, boop, boop. Uh, what's the top uh, hit location card, please? Moment, right? Yeah. What's the top hit location card? Why is that? we're here? Yes. They would have gone that way. I have priority token. Priority target token. Okay, so I'm attacking... The, well, I don't know if I'm attacking that. I just asked to see what it was, yeah. to see if I wanted to attack. I am attacking it, though. Um, 
Cool. So I am attacking. Let's see if I wound. It's actually a that's a crit. Would have dashed before. Crit. It's actually a crit. Okay. Uh, so again, one sun shark fin sun stalker resource. Chunks of gore fly into the air, casting a doc uh, momentary shadow. You're in the darkness until the end of the attack. Doesn't matter. Yeah. It's the end of my turn. Sun shark fin. Yay me! So reduce the monster's life total by one, please. Let's see. You reducing the monster's life total by one. Big old mini jerk. I don't know what that oh yes they can is for. How much life does he have? It's on the seven. Uh, eight. Dark okay. Hand. So, who else is attacking? Doing it again? You dashing? You surging? You surging? Surging. Let's have. Like a surgeon. Hey! Touch oh, just, for the search. very first time. Like a surgeon. Two hits. Hidden trap cards. All the time. What are you attacking first there, Josh? Uh, we can't... Well, we wouldn't reset the fight. We'd reset the whole campaign one year. That's a failure. Turn the monster to face the attacker. If you are in the darkness, rotate the sundial 90 degrees clockwise. You're not in the darkness. You're not in the darkness. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Don't read... You rotated the sun ring, no, didn't I, you? I left it where it was. Okay, so then you're attacking the Sun Shark Molar. That's crit. No. Oh, you don't have any luck, huh? I got no luck. So it is a wound, though. But perform a basic action targeting the attacker. That would have been nice if he had luck. So he's going to do 5d10? Yeah. And that's going to hit you on a what, Josh? 10 plus. 10 plus? How much evasion do you have? 5 natural plus 2. So 5, seven, 6, 7. So yeah, it's 10. 9. 9 evasion. That's 10. That's a lot of evasion. That's a lot of evasion right there. Eh, 10 plus. And you did a wound, right? Yeah. Yay! I'm so proud of you, Josh. I'm so proud of you! Josh! Joshy! No hits. No hits! So it's going to be the end of the... Mo it's going to be the end of our turn? Or Twitch hasn't done anything. We might as well move him closer, right? One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to check the AI cards. And they're going to check the hit location cards. Oh, great. Trap card there? Oh, a bunch of poop. I'm just going to end up shuffling this. <laughs> that's poop. Okay. Bubble! Put the bubble in. Please put the bubble in. Please put the bubble yeah. in. Put the bubble in. Put the damn bubble in. <laughs> okay. I'll pull it now! All right, so it's the end of our turn. It's now the monster's turn. Monster's going to draw an AI card, and he's going to get the Vermilion Bubbles with the mood. He's going to do his basic action. Basic action is going to target me, because I, I still have the party token. Yep. He doesn't attack me yet. So five D10s. So that goes over there. Bubbles! So again, it only hits you on a 10. Priority target token is going to go away. You want to start moving those? I sure do. Look at all the fans you have, Josh. So what did they roll? Still going. Still going. They're being they're being slackers today. They're not in Slack. They're in Twitch. One hit. Are you dodging it? Yeah. I'm assuming you're dodging it. You're dodging We're it. We're not a survival, but yeah. All right. So now the other guys are going to attack you. and need two D10s for that one that's going to attack you right there. It's only going to hit you on a 10. Other than that, meow indeed, Lucy. Meow indeed. Meow. No, don't. Don't jump up here. Don't do it. Five and a nine. Those are two misses. So it's going to be the end of the monster's turn. It's now our turn. I'm going to crest crown. Crest crown it. Crest crown it. Meow, meow. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, 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 meow. 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 Okay. Okay. So Twitch can't get... Can Twitch get close enough to do anything? One, two... If they dash, they can. Should we have them check cards? Why? Check the top four cards. You could Gloom Arrow it, possibly. And then I could go after My it. strength isn't strong enough for me to really do anything with the Gloom Arrow. Oh, he should have minus one toughness. I've wounded with the... Uh... Uh, but still, 
I've only got three natural strength, and the gloom arrows are only five strength, so that's eight. I would still need to roll a seven plus. So I'd rather not do that. Uh -huh. No, Lucy won't ever shut up. He's a dumb idiot jerk. Excuse me. All right. Go away. So what next, Josh? Sure, just stack blind. Can you deal with that in golf light right there? Oh, it's just it doesn't do anything. It just rotates. Oh, okay. Dial. Yeah, go ahead and attack blind. Or I can shoot him with my one card so it gets it out of the way. I don't know. Just attack. Two hits. Two hits. Right. Plus one, two, three accuracy. So it's three plus, three and a five. Yeah. What are you hitting? Uh, light speed. This doesn't do anything. What did you roll, anyways? Did you roll a ten? No, three and a five. Oh, okay. You're attacking the brilliant sun shark belly. That might not be enough to wound. Six plus nine is really cat. He's scratching 15, the screen. Uh, 20. That's enough to wound. Okay. That's just enough. He's, he's scratching the screen. Yeah, it's because he's a butthole. No, stop, cat. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I'm not gonna stop him now. I'm not gonna stop him now. He's he's eating one of the models. Lucy, can you go away, <laughs> please? Come here, come here. <laughs> Bye, cat. <laughs> yes, He'll be back in two seconds. Look, you can still see his tail. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Jesus. What? <laughs> level 4 lion kills the level 3 sunstalker and ambushes the survivors. What, what's next, Josh? I'm going to surge. Okay. This is my last survival. This is my last survival. Okay. One. You you crit. So which one's got a better crit? All cats are buttholes. It's their default setting. That's true. That is 100% true. It's it's Fen's Homebrew Dark Line expansion. I'm going to crit this one. So you're critting this one. So that is gain one prismatic guild Sunstalker resource. Chunks of gore flying into the air, casting a momentary shadow. You are in the darkness until the end of the attack. So reduce the monster's life total by one. And now you're attacking the Sun Shark Snout. That's a wound. wound. Please reduce the monster's life total by one. There you go. Um, Matt, how are you in range? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He can move one spot back. Okay. Um, this is for the kill. That's a hit. That is a hit. Okay, so now I'm going to roll d d10. That's a four. Oh. I have three natural strengths, so that's 12 plus 4 is 16. That's just enough. 15 was actually what was needed because he has minor toughness. Cool. We did it, guys. We killed it. we killed it, but it doesn't matter. I mean, do we want... I'm, I'm assuming... going to put a pull up for them to decide. I'm okay. I'm assuming you want to keep your survivor. I would like to. Was this our first level 3 Sunstalker? Yes. I actually did better than I thought we would. Uh, there's a moot in play, 1A card... A trade and play and one A card on the solar track. So we would get uh, seven basic resources, eight sun stalker resources, and one three thousand year sun spot strange resource. Matt, you want to switch the board? Hi, Lucy. Hi. Cat butthole. Cat butthole. Yes. What can we make with those? Uh, the one 3,000 year sunspot, you can actually make the ink sword. Would it really go better for that? Who knows? No, yeah. you don't get the ring back. Yeah, you don't get the ring back. We would. Honestly, though, it would be better because we would be able to. Like, we were kind of rushing it. Yeah, we might be able to. We might be able to slow it down and uh, 
gear up more appropriately too. I think we kind of may have rushed some of the gear setups. Maybe. And also the we had one like I got beat up really bad in the beginning, but yeah. Um. Personally, I, I think that we should reset. That would be my. You guys can decide. Do 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 do. do, do, do. Butthole cat drop anus rings. Nope. I don't believe that that's true. Butthole Cat does not drop anus rings. Doot, 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 doot. Oh, they have extensions for mobile now. Yep. I don't know if the dice roll works, though. I don't know. Uh, let's see if it does. Uh, did you enable it? I don't know. Hit the little, there's a little puzzle icon? There is a little puzzle icon. Meow. No one likes you, cat. Um, that just shows me the schedule. So, I'm assuming it doesn't work well on mobile. <laughs> Josh! <laughs> I didn't mean to drop him, he flew off to the way in. <laughs> it's a good thing you don't have children, Josh. Which children? You. You're a children. You are a children. Try one more time. Uh, Josh just throwing cats over here. Oh, I think I need to do an update to the extension. An updoot? Updoot. Updoot. Up the doot. Doot in the up. Up doot. Up doot. When I say up, you say doot. Up. Yes to reset. Doot. Thank you. Yes to reset. Hype reset. Reset hype. Woo! Next time we'll do even better. The cat got dropped into the dark. You notice he's shot up now. Yeah. It's because he broke his neck. He's dead. <laughs> the cat's not dead. I'm not <laughs> just dead. joking. The cat's not dead. <laughs> that would be terrible. Be quiet. Be quiet. That would be terrible. <laughs> but we actually finished about on average time. We did. We did. Which is surprising. Considering we did a butcher, a full setup for a level 3 Sunstalker, and then a level 3 Sunstalker. And we almost did it ideally. Almost. Almost. I had that trap card. If you didn't have the trap card, it would have been fine. Yep. You should have crest crowned it like I told you. Get one accuracy um, back. If we reset, yeah, you get your accuracy back and your whatever critical wounds you got. Yeah, it looks like we're we're resetting. Reset, yay! So, so this all was for nothing. Yay! <laughs> we reset the stream and do it all that too. <sighs> No, no. If I didn't have work tomorrow, but uh all right, so thank you all for joining us this evening. Uh this has been another fantastic presentation of Twitch Plays Kingdom Death. You know the drill though, if you want to know more about what's coming up, although first we'll talk about that first too. I was a little trigger shot trigger happy there. If you've got Amazon Prime, you've got Twitch Prime, which means you get one free subscription every month, and we would love it if you use that on us. And as a reminder, if you have done Amazon Prime to subscribe for us before. Uh, it doesn't automatically re-up, so you have to go back and redo it every month. So there's that. Uh, next game, Great Game Hunters, is probably going to be... I don't know. Are you available... Not this Friday, but next Friday. No? Neither are you. Oh, what time is that? Well, you don't have work. That's true, I don't have work. We might, actually, we could do it earlier. Work. Yeah. So maybe, maybe next Friday. We'll, uh, we'll have to sync up about that. Uh, but the best way to find out what's coming up is to follow us on Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, and come chat with us in our Discord channel where? Part never stops. Also Facebook. I didn't say Facebook. Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, it's YouTube, Instagram. That happens there. Yeah, there's Facebook. And normally just share random posts. Yeah, that's that's pretty accurate. Um, we are in the middle of the sub drive right now. We're driving around a giant sub sandwich all around the country, and we would if love we it if get you get an RV, can it be a sub-shaped <laughs> RV? <laughs> sure. A purple sub? Sure. Like uh, like an old Airstream trailer? A purple sub-submarine. So it looks like a sub and a sub. That reminds me, there's this one place out in Lake Tahoe. There was, I think it's in Reno, too. It's called Port of Subs. I saw when we were out there. And it's a sub shop that's themed like submarines. And their logo is a sub sandwich with little portholes and the periscope on it. Yeah. That's what so, we need. I mean, that's what we need to drive around. Yeah. Sunstalker fight went mostly good, except Josh's character died, so he used the hours ring, and we reset. Twitch used the hour. I gave Twitch the option to do it. Yeah. 
And we didn't grab the salt. That was something else we didn't do. Um, on top of that, we've got a lot of giveaways that we're getting ready to get, that we're gearing up for right now. So guys, yep. definitely go check out the Twist Giving Twist Give yeah. Twist Gaming giveaway link. Thank you, myself. Uh, so you'll be <laughs> able to uh, see what we did oh, there. Chat. What what sun soccer fight? It didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we got a giveaway. We got a uh, jelly bean like bundle giveaway going on now. Ooh. Uh, they had their Kickstarter going on Monday. Mm-hmm. For that's uh, for, for the village, village, which is pillaging really cool. the villages. We're gonna do spotlight of that on Wednesday. You know what it gives me a hankering for? Turnips. Really turn up the fun yeah. when we play it. <laughs> oh, why are you hurting me? Uh, so we got that's our spotlight for next week. Uh, it's for Wednesday. Nice. Very cool. Yeah. And we got no a spotlight Monday. We so got a Wednesday. bunch of spotlights coming up though. Yep. Um. What did we just? What did I just confirm? Oh, um, zombie, Toussaint, tsunami? zombie tsunami. Yeah, by Lucky Duck Games. Ooh, we're gonna do that. That's until May. We're so booked out of book yeah, in May. Yeah. Um, uh, nice turn of phrase. Eh? Eh? Um, no, yeah, Lucky Ducks. They just had that really awesome Kickstarter for Chronicles of Crime. Yeah. that they it killed it. They got just under eight hundred thousand dollars. So they're gonna break it with post backing i'm sure there's going to be yeah probably pledge manager afterwards um so yeah they 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 did awesome and the game looked like a lot of fun too we had the chance to show it off from our packs uh not packs unplugged gamma coverage everything's merging together just one big con of life yeah life is a big con um we got a lot of stuff coming to you though that we were able to source from gamma so we're really excited about that we're in just we're in conversation for some really interesting opportunities coming up too, uh bringing you extra content to the stream yeah, so there might be a lot more excited. spotlights happening in the next few months like a lot more a lot more so if you guys want to see all the greatest new game <laughs> coverage Josh doesn't need to upload this fight to youtube it's still gonna go there it's, it's gonna be a take two yep yep um, but yeah, we're really excited about all the upcoming opportunities that we've got going on. And yeah. uh, big shout out to everyone that we had the opportunity of interviewing at Gamma. It was a ton of fun. Very tiring, but a ton of fun. Yeah. And I had a great time. Next time the trip needs to be a little bit longer just to give us some more like... Yeah. You, you, well, you have to go up early. You had you got a little yeah, bit no, more. I, I wish I would have stayed a little longer. Um, I, if I was able... If I didn't have so many critical projects going on at work, I would have... Actually, Delta was offering... Because they always overbook. Yeah, you know what they were offering to? What? It was really nice. So it was uh, they were going to give like a fifty or a hundred dollar dinner voucher, a fifty dollar breakfast voucher, a stay at one of the hotels uh, in downtown Reno. I forget where. I think that was the Silver Legacy, which is like I think that's like the big bowling hotel, and uh, a six hundred dollar Visa gift card, plus your rescheduled flight. Yeah. I just I I had she just work remote. I I couldn't. It was I needed to go in that day, but we didn't we didn't get that deal. We didn't get any deals. The other thing too is I was traveling with my parents. Yeah. So it would have been kind of dick to be like, "Bye parents." <laughs> it would have been mean. They they're not very good travelers. So yeah. they don't travel well without me there to help them. <laughs> just all three of you do it. They they only had um Two available, <laughs> so that would have been funny. Just have you and your Bob do it. Let your dad. Oh go. <laughs> yeah, that would have been great. <laughs> oh Jesus! But um, you guys could have paid like eighteen hundred dollars. Like we could have. That would have been nice. But now my nice dinner. I know my mom nice couldn't have taken off of work either. She had some critical stuff going on. So but, no. it happens. Kick your Excellent. parents off and keep the fees. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been funny. Bye, parent. You're getting you're getting delayed until tomorrow. I'm taking your visa cards. <laughs> now that's that's the level right there. Have you ever have you ever been outside of the country? Uh, I have I have traveled outside of the country once, one time for work for work, and it was to Nicaragua, <laughs> and it was not a good experience. I have gone multiple times, but yeah, yeah. Dice Stats has a timer, so it might just be the timer going up. That was not a fun trip, to say the least. Since people are asking for Dice Stats, we haven't gone over them in a while. Also, we're planning some cool stuff with Dice Stats. Yeah, we got some cool stuff. Ideas. I, I dares. I dares. So, the most pick roller is going to be Eberron. Well, let's look at the, today. 
Oh, that's okay. Most All-time. pick roller is going to be Exelon. Exelon got 33 dice picked today. And um, seven of them were critical fa- No, that yeah, seven. Yeah, seven, seven of them were critical fails. So nice job, Exelon. Good job. Uh, you also had wow, you're not even did you not get any crits? Um, you didn't get two crits. Yeah, you didn't get two crits at least. You might have gotten one, but <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you you did horrible today, Exelon. So you needed to take the lowest average rollers, too. Yeah, I, I, I need to update this. It's been a bit. Master Sword Mage, though, averaged 7.5 today. Yep. And that's at least five rolls. Yeah. That's pretty good. And then we've got Yaya Tech with 731. The Lonig, or the Lone G, with 6.91. <laughs> It's the Lone G, man. Not the Lone G. The, lo- <laughs> the Lone <laughs> Ice Chamber, 6.17. Uh, Kennewick Earl with 6.83. We rolled one hit location, and it was the body. <laughs> Just one. <laughs> we had 20 crit fails today and only 17 crits. But but our average was 5.61, so it was above average. Slightly above average, yeah. What's all time? And curious. also, how many dice requests did we have for the oh. D10s, Josh? 69. <laughs> 166 dice. 166. Or D10s. Yeah. 175 dice. All time, though, our top crit fail roller is Ice Chamber with 18. Exelon's nipping on his heels with 17. He, he came up seven. He, yeah. Yeah. This yeah. He, he got a lot close. of in this stream. And then Ice Chamber is also the top crit roller with 18. So Ice Chamber's leading crits oh. and crit fails. Uh, Exelon's 14. He's number three in the top crits, so he's uh, he's yeah. nipping on the heels there, too. Uh, Eberron's got the most picked rolls, though. 184. Oh, look at that. And Exelon's got 159. Um, also interesting to note here, our top roller is averaging 7.33 yeah, with wow. Triduck. That's that's good. I, I don't know how many. I, I need to add in how many rolls that's so far. Yeah. All right, so with that, um, I don't think we have anything else to go over this evening, do we, Josh? Uh, next Monday, no stream, but join us on Tuesday for the continuation of Twitch yep. Plays Kingdom Death. Wednesday is our spotlight of the Village Pillage. Yay. Uh, then we've got Thursday, some more Twitch Plays Kingdom Death, and then possibly Great Game Hunters next Friday, so stay tuned for that. And then we got the Prime giveaway, the su- sub giveaway, Ugh. sub drive. Yes. Going. But there's a sub giveaway in the. If you do the twist game, and when are we going to be doing the sub giveaway? Uh, end of the month. So next week is going to be the end of the month. Maybe the f- first Tuesday uh, of the next month. Doom, is, like that. Doom is asking when's Gen Con. It is going to be in August, very first week of August. Yeah, August second, I believe. Yeah, um, and we'll be there. Yeah, we'll be there. Um, so there's a white box, signed white box that we're giving away. Oh, okay. nice! Very so, nice. Your sub, go check that out. I think there's only, like, only 22 people who've entered so far when I looked. I don't know there's more than 22 subs in chat right now. Yeah. So, like... Go enter. Go enter. All right. Is there anything else that you want to talk about, Josh? No, I think that's it. All right. So, thank you all for joining us this evening. This has been another fantastic presentation of Twitch Plays Kingdom Death and another fantastic Twist Gaming presentation. So, we hope to see you all again soon. But for now, good night. I'm Matt. I'm Josh. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.